let's let's see what Barbara. I know she has some suggestions about that. And uh, hi, Barbara. How are you? I'm a lot better than I was last week, James. Yeah, welcome back. I know that was a terrible cold. I think it went from coast to coast. I had it. The whole crew had it, and you had it right at the very moment you were on the camera. <laughs> But welcome back. Thank you. Okay, so tell us now, if I'm a hunter and I have a hunt booked for Mexico, what is the advice that the hunting report would like to give me? Well, the first thing that I would advise is make sure that your paperwork is absolutely perfect when you're going over there. Uh, if you're taking your rifle, make sure that your uh, uh, your permits are uh, filled out properly. That you have your customs 50, uh, uh, 55, uh, 47 mm -hmm. form with you. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to be driving to Me into Mexico, the advice is go only in daylight hours and meet up with your outfitter as soon as possible. Yeah, and, and, uh, I, and I totally agree with that. I, I'm going to go a little further than you are, though, because I think that you're that you're still might be thinking that that the hunters can take their own guns with them. And I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to say, you know what, shooters, all of us that are bird shooters, we know perfectly well that okay, it's not a perfect gun, but your outfitter has guns. Why? subject yourself to the border issue by bringing your own gun. Forget about it. Call the outfitter say, hey, you know what? I booked the hunt. I expect to use your gun when you get there. What do you have to offer me? Hey, so maybe you miss a couple of birds because it's not your gun and hadn't been exactly fitted to you. And I know Barbara doesn't want to say this, but I'm going to suggest to you, do not take a gun across the border. I don't care how many permits you've got. I don't care who told you it's okay. My personal opinion, don't take it. Use the outfitter's gun. What do you think, Barbara? Well, that would certainly simplify things. Uh, right now, the, the only thing that's open now through May is turkey season. Uh, and a lot of outfitters now have uh, some decent uh, firearms in camp, and you should be able to get one uh, that you can borrow while you're there. Um, I receive reports from dozens of hunters coming back uh, in February and in uh, March with their uh, sheep hunting. Uh, none of them complained about any problems. Uh, none of them were stopped or harassed. Uh, none of them saw anything out of sorts. Uh, but the, the advice is use some common sense. Um, go to your hunting area and stay there. Don't go driving around don't go into town looking for nightlife and entertainment in the evenings. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. Um, these kinds of people hang out in shady places. Make sure you stay away from those places and the kinds of people that live and work in them. Uh, I don't think I have to go into too many right. details I, about I think we got the picture there. <laughs> Barbara, I agree with you 100% on that. And like I said, uh, personally, I would not take my gun across the border. Why do that on, at this time? Maybe at the end of the turkey season, maybe we would have uh, got a better handle on what's going on down there. But I happen to know that they're going to begin checking and I believe they're using the National Guard coming up real quick on our side of the border, plus our Border Patrol, and then you've got the Mexican Border Patrol. So there's a lot of places in there where people are going to get real nervous about guns. Yeah, why do it? You know, for one trip, it's a turkey. Hey, it's just a turkey. You can shoot it. I know you can hit it. <laughs> Barbara, thank you very much. I look forward to next week's report. My pleasure. Bye-bye.